Okay. Good morning! Ramadan Mubarak for the second day of Ramadan Daily Vlogs. I don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Today is a good day. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I fell asleep. I didn't get to wake up for Sahur. And ideally, what I just want to do is just drink water. But um, I fell asleep because I had an exhausting night. But today will be better. I don't know if I talked to you guys about the home plans that I have. And I announced it on my Chanu Tain homepage. We will be doing a ground floor extension, inshallah, and renovating the kitchen. Last Ramadan, or around then, we were doing a DIY on the kitchen. Well, this time, we'll be doing my actual kitchen. I don't know what I was thinking buying a townhouse. It's so much steps. Um, yeah, so we will be doing our ground floor extension. I'm so excited because this would mean that I would be able to get my dream kitchen that I've always wanted. The kitchen I have is fully functional and it's fine, but um, this is for some plumbing reasons. If we're gonna do the extension, we have to do it now. And if we're gonna do this extension, we have to do the kitchen because it's the kitchen wall that's being knocked down. So, um, I'm really excited. So today, no, tomorrow, I'm going to be going to check out some countertops with Caesar Stone. Today, we will be checking out a joinery, um, a handcrafted kitchen carpenter who makes kitchens themselves. And that's sort of the route that I want because I want a traditional English kitchen, but I can't afford the traditional English kitchen price. Amr used to be a kitchen designer for traditional English kitchens, and I know the craftsmanship that goes into it. But a more affordable alternative is to find an amazing carpenter and get your kitchen handmade. So I was at 3 a.m. I was just fishing around a few weeks ago on Facebook, and I found one guy who makes kitchens, and his name is Paul, and his kitchen quality was epic. At first, I was like, mm, this kitchen's too nice. What's the catch? I sent him a DM. I got a quote from him. It was within my budget, which was 20K. We didn't want to spend more than 25K on a kitchen. So we're going to go see, and we saw his work. His work is excellent. Honestly and truly, I was speaking to another big brand and their kitchens range from like 30 to 100. Their kitchens are handcrafted English kitchens, but they're extremely expensive. If I could support a small business that does the same quality kitchen within my budget and something that you guys could probably afford a lot more than a $100,000 kitchen, then I will let more likely go with that, if you know what I mean. If it's more ethical and if it's something that I could kind of suggest to you all oh, this one's really hot um and you guys all can save uh then that's ideally what i want to go with even if the bigger kitchen band is offering me more of a discount i'd rather suggest something that is financially feasible to majority of my following now that you're able to go and see shops and showrooms and things have opened up he's going to be showing me one of his customers kitchens and i can actually ask the family like how do they like it how was his services so it'd be good i most likely can't film but i can tell you guys about it when it happens so that's what we're doing today we're doing some more orders and da -da 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 -da, tomorrow we'll be looking at countertops so you'll also be seeing a lot of i know i said business but you'll also be seeing a lot of china day home i will link the china day home instagram page down in the description box so i'm not gonna lie i'm a little thirsty um, but I feel so much better. I think my coffee withdrawals have subsided substantially. Subside, subsided substantially. Is that the right? Anyways, let's carry on with our vlog. Hey guys, right, so today I wanted to quickly do my makeup, do a no makeup makeup look. Perfect for those days where you wanna go super natural but you still wanna have a little something going on. This Get Ready With Me is partially sponsored by Code 8. I'm gonna be going in with the Code 8 Radiate Beauty Balm and this is like a tinted moisturizer but it doesn't have a shiny finish, it has a velvety finish. This was probably the first tinted moisturizer I've used and realize that hey not all tinted moisturizers have to be like super like dewy they could look super light and feel very light and still have that tinted moisturizer feel so this is one of my favorites actually this is my second one um and i went in with a deeper shade because summer is around the corner and i'm gonna be using a lot more tinted moisturizer especially during ramadan but love this it has vitamin a vitamin e 
um, and vitamin C in there. Um, it also has SPF 15, so you have some SPF in there. I like to layer this with an SPF just for that extra added protection. In the wintertime, I'm in the shade NW30, but in the summertime, I like to go in with a little bit of a warmer tone in the shade W50. So I'm gonna mix the two. Right, so let's start off with the balm. I love this stuff. And I'm just gonna go in. Let's just use my hands, blend that in there. And it sort of like brings color back into my skin. You see that? So yeah, if you have oily the combination skin and you're looking for a tint to moisturizer that doesn't like make you look like a grease ball, has a beautiful finish, it's like your skin but better, I would definitely recommend trying this. And I think I have a coupon code down in the description box. If you guys do want to try this out, I will link that down there. It's like skincare meets makeup. It layers beautifully, by the way. I'm gonna keep it really nice and soft. So I'm gonna go in with the Code 8 Seamless Cover Concealer. I love this concealer. So I use one shade to brighten and one shade to conceal. Like this is my concealer shade and it is in the shade NW50. And then I go in with a lighter shade and just highlight. This is a beautiful concealer. Can you see? Like it completely erased my dark circles without feeling like I put a, a ton of concealer on. Now I go in with NC15, which is a much lighter color, but I just, I do the concealer trick from TikTok where, you know, you kind of just add it a little here, a little here, and what it does is sort of like lifts your eyes. Just a little bit. Super fast, super quick. That took me like a few minutes. And my base is done. I take my Laura Mercy setting powder, and just set under my eyes and the corners of my nose. And no matter what tinted moisturizer I use, I always set, always. Now a little trick is it to dust off my powder. I usually just dab it off with a microfiber cloth when I have a tinted moisturizer on because I wanna keep it light and it kinda just lifts away any extra. So um, to finish off the look and sort of add warmth and color and like a nice fresh dewy youthfulness to my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Code 8 5 Sex Lip and Cheek Color. And this one is in the color Carmen. It's like a pretty red. It's a perfect way to add like color and youthfulness to your skin. I go in messy and I blur. Take whatever's left over. I'm gonna cheek it. Cheek it on this side. So I'm gonna go in with the Codate Arch Realist in the color medium. I like to actually take this product and drag it on the inner corner of my eye, just creating some sort of depth. I'm gonna take the Refi Brow Sculpt, which is this incredible, incredible brow gel that just lifts your brow hairs up and just keeps them up and perfectly fluffy. I highly, highly recommend this product. It's so good. And it has like this little tool. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Fenty Beauty's highlighter just with my finger. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and just... Hey guys, the sun came out at the most perfect time. So you can have a good look at my skin. I'm gonna list all the products I used down in the description box. Um, this is the finished makeup look. I mean, it took me about like 10, 15 minutes. Now I'm ready to hop out the door. I also added a few faux freckles on my nose area and on my cheek. This is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna list all the products down in the description if you guys wanted to go and check that out. And feel great, look great. I'm gonna start my day off. Bismillah. It's gonna be an amazing day. <sighs> We're almost there, guys. <laughs> I just want water. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah for everything. Check you guys later.
Thanks. No. <laughs> We have just gone to see a property, not to buy the property, but basically we have found a kitchen uh, joinery that hand makes um, kitchens. Now, if you don't know already, Amr used to work at a kitchen company, um, he used to design them, so he's a really good head on for exactly what we need and good quality and just fishing out good quality kitchens. Now, I reached out to this guy on Facebook. I saw that he was on Facebook and um, we obviously are on a budget, but we want prime, prime, prime kitchen. Like we want like a really high quality kitchen, but we don't have the funds for a high, high quality kitchen. So we thought, okay, let's explore the route of getting a kitchen from a carpenter or some sort of uh, specialist in wood and cabinetry so he, they can make the furniture for us. So we found uh, Paul on on Facebook he doesn't know who I am he doesn't know what I do or anything like that so I reached out to him and I said hi I would love to just like check out your kitchens in person um, he was so so polite um, and he basically was like sure of course got back to me right away gave us a quick quote of how much it would cost based on the drawings of our kitchen again like like just like a normal customer uh, and that's what I wanted because I wanted to get the full experience if we ended up going with this guy, I want to be able to hand on heart say he was great. And it was, it's not coming from a biased influencer perspective. I reached out to him. He was very fast at responding. He gave us a quote that was within our budget. We were super happy with quality oak kitchens or walnut interiors and handmade bespoke in-frame kitchens, which is exactly what we wanted. A kitchen that was very, very prime, beautifully done, that fits within our budget. He hit us up the other day and he said listen you can we I spoke to one of our kitchen um, buyers and you can actually go into their home now that we're allowed to do that you can actually go into their home and check out um, my work which is what we want because he's not a big-time kitchen company he is a small business like myself and so yeah if we can support a small business even better we just came back from the property and we were very impressed Really good, really good attention to detail with the work. Quality is very, very good. Um, you know, everyone kept social distancing, which is great. But no, from what we were seeing, the kitchen itself had dovetail um, drawers. It had um, the cutlery tray that was fully oak, um, oak doors. Everything was like I don't even know the terminology. No, you, for could, it. you could tell like the the quality. You could see the quality, um, and even the interiors were really good quality. Yeah. Um, paint finishing really nice we had to play it cool like you know yeah we like it you know but inside i was like i love it <laughs> so, so, so the, the client um, the, the, the homeowner was really sweet yeah, to let us say they they, uh, they uh, sourced their own worktops privately and then when she told manali i did the worktop myself she's like i did the work myself. i was like, like yourself yourself <laughs> and she's like yeah i got it sourced myself and I, was like, I was like oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, when someone says I did the work top I myself, just, I just like, you're just gonna assume they physically this woman carried the stone onto the counter. On, who would do that? Well why would she say that? She should have said I got this done myself. The house was so beautiful. So beautiful. She had everything was brand new, skylights, like literally the, the room was my like my my dream, what what I want, basically. Um so yeah, her home was beautiful. I loved her flooring. I loved her doors. Her doors were these big glass sliding doors. So she, her house was perfect. And I was just like itching not to ask her a million questions. But I was like, where'd you get your doors from? She's like, oh, everyone does them now. And I'm like, okay. Where'd you get your flooring from? And she's like, oh. Yeah, they did, they did their you. project two years ago. So you can understand it two years ago. It's like, you all remember everything. I remember everything and I did my, my house two years ago in my bathrooms. She just didn't want to share. <laughs> Anyways, Paul was absolutely incredible. Now you can tell he does these things with his soul properly and even the, 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 the customers were, like loved him. They said they were very happy with him. Um, yeah, so we got such good vibes from him. I'm really wanting to just buy get him to make our kitchen and hire him just based on Obviously, his kitchens look absolutely incredible. Nothing to fault. What what I didn't like is that it was hand painted. Yeah, but a lot of the kitchen companies are hand painted. You, 
some of them do spray painting, but most of them all have. I don't painting. like the brush. Like, you can, if you look closely, you can sort of see the brush lines. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. yeah okay. It's like if you look really closely, I was like really trying to find a flaw. I didn't really find much. Yeah. So I, I kind of want to go with him. It's either him, Martin Moore, or a few other like big time kitchen companies. I kind of want to go with him just because I loved that it was a small. He was a small company. He put his heart and soul into these kitchens, and you can see it. And the quality was great. The wood that he used and everything, and the way the, the, the technical aspects of it was great. I'm not getting a discount or getting this kitchen for free. I'm literally like a regular customer, and I'm telling you my honest opinion. So, yes, I'm really happy with his work. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. But. So what we always recommend is wherever you're looking, especially when you're doing big projects like kitchens, bathrooms, extensions, you need to see the finished work. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's good to see it's good to see projects whilst they're being whilst they're going on. So like live projects where you know it's a, it's a bit of a building site sometimes you can see that that's fine that's good, but it's also good to see the finished product as well. Equally yeah. As much. So if you are searching for someone to do your kitchen. Definitely, 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 especially if they're a small business, you want to see what they've done. You want to ask to visit maybe a previous customer uh, to see it in person. And also you want to visit their workshop. Um, so that's the next thing we're doing before we possibly go with Paul. Well, is we're leaning towards, but we're seeing everyone. I know you're like excited right now because you've just seen one of the things. But equally so, when you see other people's works, you see other, you know, it's, it's a difficult decision. We, you know, we look at everything. We yeah. weigh everything up. Yeah. I'm glad so we went. Yeah, so far, like, you know, it, it's looking very pro positive. Yeah. So what are you making? Today, Amr's making dinner. Making burger, chips, and some salad. Mm. Yeah. And um, I thought, you know what? You can have a rest day today. You know, you should clean it as you go. I did clean it. No, but like the table and stuff. I know, but I just, you know, let me, um, just, you know, you can help me with that. Yeah, I gotta help with Adam. Adam! Adam! No, So we have some neighbors that are moving, so we told them, don't worry about a flower for the next couple of days, we're just gonna send this over. So I'm gonna cover it up on it. And then we're gonna quickly finish ours and start stuff. 